fact, and the fact is this. The devil has no problem with us believing in God. Why? Because he does. Notice what James 2.19 says. It says, you say you have faith, for you believe that there is one God. Well, good for you. Even the demons believe this, and they tremble in terror. You see, this is what I found. The devil is shrewd enough, he's smart enough not to attack most of our most people's belief in God. He just wants us to drop the Lord from his name. Now, let me meddle a little bit. I've been living in Randolph County for 12 years. And this is what I found. Most country folk in Randolph County, I'm not talking about the city slickers in Asheboro, but most country folk in Randolph County, they believe in God. They may even fear him, but they don't do what he says. If you walked up to them and said, hey, do you believe in God? Do you fear God? Oh, yeah, I, I believe in Him. I fear Him. But I'm just refusing to do what He says. Now, how in the world can people believe in God and fear God, yet not do what He said? Why? Because they've dropped the Lord from His name. He's just God to them. You see, Randy, why does the devil work so hard to get me to drop the Lord from God's name? Because of this truth. And the truth is this. Rejecting God as Lord cost us greatly. Go back. I think back to the story of King Saul. Let me show you a verse in it. 1 Samuel 15, 10, 11. The Lord gave the preacher Samuel a message. He said, I am very sad I have made Saul king. He has turned away from me. He has not done what I directed him to do. Now remember, Saul never stopped believing in God. There was never a time that Saul stopped believing in God. He even feared him, yet he refused to do what he said. Now notice the result of his rejection of God as Lord. 1 Samuel 15, 23 says, Because you have rejected the command of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. And the same is true with us. Hear me. When you reject God as Lord, you're rejecting his blessings as well. You see, some of you are wondering, Randy, why ain't God as good to me as he is to you? Well, let me ask you something. Is he your Lord? 